Meanwhile, Israeli forces have wounded a number of anti-blockade Palestinian protesters in the Gaza Strip. Palestinian media said the soldiers fired live rounds and high-velocity gas bombs at protesters near the border fence. They said dozens of protesters also suffered the effects of tear gas inhalation in addition to cuts and bruises. In West Bank, illegal Israeli settlers backed by the police stormed the courtyards of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Palestinians suffocated on the tear gas as Israeli forces resorted to violence during a raid on towns in Jenin City. Meanwhile, Tel Aviv said U.S. plans to reopen its consulate in Jerusalem is a bad idea and could destabilize the Israeli government. The consulate, located in occupied East Jerusalem, has long served as an autonomous office that oversees U.S.-Palestine diplomatic relations.